Humans! It's me, King Human. And, uh, yeah. I, I get this all the time. King Human, how did you come up with the name King Human? Well, <clears throat> when I arrived here from my planet, I knew I would have to be in disguise so I could observe you human monkeys, you earth monkeys, without being called out on it. You know, you're, you're not a human, you're, so I picked the name King Human because I didn't understand the language, really, when I first arrived here. I didn't really have a grasp of it. So I thought, well, King, that's a power base. That's somebody who's high up on the, uh, <clears throat> on the social ladder. And Human, if I put these two together, nobody will question me. They'll say I'm a human being. So, But now that I understand the language better, I see what a stupid thing it was. But still, nobody questioned me. I can make these videos. I can say right to your f***ing faces that I'm from another planet and I'm just here to observe you dirt monkeys. But nobody believes me. So it doesn't matter what my name is. So in my last video, I... <clears throat> your Earth air... <clears throat> It always chokes me up and has me coughing or whatever. And that brings me to the subject of, you know, in my previous video, I mentioned something sarcastically about climate change, global warming. And I noticed a lot of comments from people arguing the topic. Yes, it does exist. No, it doesn't exist. And it kind of got me thinking about, and this is what I'm here on this planet to do, is observe you, you dirt monkeys to see what, what, why is it your brains don't really work? So, I, you know, the people that are arguing and saying, well, climate change doesn't exist. It's a, it's a myth. Because as long as the Earth has been in existence, the climate has been changing. It's been warming. It's been doing this. So we, you, as Earth monkeys, really have no effect on it. It's all a myth. And this amazes me. This really amazes me. How somebody is in such denial as a species. You're in such denial. Oh, yeah. We can pump millions of tons of shit into the air to the point where the rain turns to acid and we have no effect. We really have no effect on this stuff. It's such a denial state. It's such a state of denial. I... I I'm amazed, and I'm also amazed at why you people will take a position against your own benefit, against your own goodwill, against your own best interests. You will argue a point that is against your own best interests, and you don't even think to wonder why. I mean, I've, I've kind of dissected it, and my theory on why people will, are willing to do this and become a devil's advocate on this subject of climate change and global warming is because it absolves them of guilt. If they come out and say, oh, as earth monkeys, we have no effect, we're not changing the climate, it's not us, it's not us, we're not doing this, it's natural, it absolves them of guilt. They can drive their huge fucking SUVs and do whatever the fuck they want. And with total, you know, with a clean conscience. But if they really had to say, oh, hey, you know what? <laughs> this does matter. It doesn't so much matter for maybe my generation, but future generations are going to have to pay this price. Then, yeah, you would see an attitude change in those people. If, and if they had to live in the, uh, in the environment that's going to be created in the next 200, 300 years. You'd see them being a little bit more concerned and a little bit more open to the idea that when you pump shitloads of shit into the atmosphere, things change. It does affect things. And the people that say, well, you know, the Earth has been changing, it's always changing, the climates have changing. Well, fuck yeah, everything changes. It's evolution. But it's kind of like the argument of saying, well, 
there is already a fire in the fireplace, so I threw a, a, a 10 gallons of gasoline on it, and the house burnt down. But it wasn't because I put 10 gallons of gasoline on a fire. The fire was already burning. The fire existed. I had no effect on it. Even though I threw 10 gallons of gasoline on it, it wasn't me. The fire existed the whole fucking time. It's so illogical. And it's hard to get you dirt monkeys to think in a logical way. But whatever. You know, I'm going to be going back to my home planet soon, so I don't care. I'm just observing and reporting. But every once in a while, I like to try and provoke some thought out of you monkeys because it's fun to watch you guys when I throw something out and listen to the monkey chatter back and forth. Woo! Um, <clears throat> you're the most uneducated and overly entertained people I've seen of all the planets I've been to. And this is evidenced by the fact that you have your, your major news stories right now. I watched your Earth news. Your major news stories right now are not about overpopulation. It's not about climate change, global warming. It's not about anything important. Your major news right now is about some idiot football player who had an imaginary girlfriend. And that's huge fucking news to you monkeys. Or a, a, a guy who rides a bicycle was on steroids. Huge fucking news. Again, amazes me the fact that you're so easily distracted from important topics and issues by a little bit of entertainment. That's why that entertainment thing is, is thrown at you and you people grab it with both hands and eat it like it was ice cream and relish it and worship these fucking idiotic sports figures and and people from movies and TV. It's, it's, it's I've talked about this to you monkeys in the past. You know, it, it during Caesar's reign, I've said this before, during Caesar's reign, the, the citizenry was on the verge of revolting and overthrowing his regime. So he decided, you know what, I got an idea. Let's distract these idiots with some games. I'll build a coliseum. Let's build a giant coliseum and let the citizens go there for free. We'll put on these games. It'll distract them to the point where they'll forget the real issues. And it worked like a fucking charm, and it's been working ever since. You people worship this fucking idiotic hooper ball and football and, and all of this nonsense that means nothing. It's a bunch of strangers that you don't know, and they're playing a game... And that's the most fucking important thing for you idiots. Amazing. I can't wait to get back to my home planet and tell them about this phenomenon. I, I don't know that they're going to believe me. They'll never believe me in a million years. They'll say, y you're, you're making it up. There's no species in the multiverse that's that ignorant and willingly stupid. But... There is. So, soon, back to my home planet, and you people can live with a planet that has no climate change, no global warming, nothing's happening, nothing's bad, la 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 la, I know nothing, I hear nothing, I see nothing, everything is fine.